Hi, let's get started with the latest development version of NetBeans that supports the Java 9 tooling. Together with the latest early access build of Java 9 itself. So here you can see I'm on jdk.java.net slash 9 and the most recent build at the time of this recording is JDK 9 171. So the early access build 171 of JDK 9 is what I've downloaded. I'm on Windows 64. Um, I need the JDK, so I've clicked on this uh, exe file here and it's been downloaded. I've gone through the installation process and on disk I have JDK 9 installed. Also through the same installation procedure I have uh, the JRE installed. So I've installed these into different folders so you can install them however you like following the installation procedure from the installation version that you get when you download the Java 9 exe file. Next I went to netmuse.org and I clicked on the download button here. And along the top you can see that the latest release of NetBeans is 8.2 but we don't want the latest official release, we want the development build that supports Java 9. And at the time of this recording the latest build is this one and you can see here that's 2017 and the 05 means May and the 27 means the 27th of May. So that's today's date and that is the build I am using here. So what I did is I clicked on the Java SE download. You don't need any of the other ones if you are just getting started with Jigsaw and you basically want to use the latest Java 9 features. This is the one that you want. This is what um, Jigsaw and Java 9 and JShell and the Java 9 related features are all about. Java SE. I highly recommend you don't use one of the other ones at this point. You just use the one that is specific to um, Java 9 features and Java 9 features are all specific to Java SE. So I clicked on the download button here and um, the download started. I started up the installation wizard that you get from this download process and then in the installation wizard I pointed to the JDK 9 that I had on disk. So at some point in the installation process of NetBeans you were asked to point to a particular version of the JDK and what I did is I pointed to this one, JDK 9, the one that I had just installed prior to that. After installation, what I have on disk is, you can see here, NetBeans Dev, and then again you see that number, 2017-05-2701. And in the etc folder, you will have a NetBeans.com file, and I'm going to now open this file. When I look inside that file, I can see at the end here that the NetBeans JDK home property here uh, points to the JDK 9 folder where that JDK 9 is installed. So that's what I pointed to. If you installed NetBeans via some other JDK, which is also fine, just go inside this file and change NetBeans JDK home to point to that JDK 9 folder. Um, so this is where JDK 9, that 171 EA build has been installed. You need to have that here. And what here is, again, is in the etc folder you'll find netbeans.conf. You need to open that file and you need to change this to point to that folder where your JDK 9 EA171 build has been installed. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to help and about just to check my environment. So here again you can see that the version of this build of NetBeans 9 is 2017 May 27th and you can also see here I'm using the uh, EA release of JDK 9 at EA171 and here's the user directory and here is the cache directory. It's all fine, it's all looking good. Now let's go and create our first project. So create a Java application. Um, let's call it uh, welcome as a project name. And we'll put this into a package. com title welcome. And we click finish. 
And what's now created is our um, a welcome class. And you can see it has a public static void main. And let's do our public static void main message here. So S O U T tab. And hello from my first NetBeans project. Okay, and now we just run the application. And output window opens. We see hello from my first NetBeans project. Next, let's go along and add in here a module info file. So we go to other and we type here module. Oh, there you go. Java module info. Click next. Click finish. And so here we have our first module info Java file. And look in the history, look in the graph. And there we are. And as a very simple starting point, we have our first Jigsaw module. So any Java SE project is a Jigsaw module as soon as you've added your module info Java in here. If we go to tools and Java platforms, we can see that here is that JDK9 that we used to start up NetBeans, and here are all the Jigsaw modules from the JDK itself. So here are all the Jigsaw modules in the JDK, and here is our own module. And we can see when we go to the properties dialog here that the binary format is set to JDK9, and that also the Java platform here is set to JDK9, and that's it. We are using JDK9. We have here also the module path, so we can add projects to the module path, and we also have the class path. We can use either one of these. That's it. Simple to get started. Um, Jigsaw is intuitively integrated, seamlessly integrated, in the same way as you would use any Java SE project in the past, you'll use it in the future. If you want to use Jigsaw, if you want to use the module path, then you will add the module info file to your project. That's it. That's all you need to do to get started with Jigsaw and NetBeans.